Welcome to Fast Connections. My name is Yakita Wilkinson, and I am even more excited to introduce Will Holmes, and he has spearheaded our Capital Matters program. Um, we've supported over a thousand businesses alone just through his cohorts. Whenever I, I start with a client or I teach one of my classes, the first thing I say is, what is the thing you love to do more? I want you to envision that. Now I want you to think, how can you build an infrastructure so you can do that uninterrupted? When you become more financial literate from a business perspective and monitoring those expenses in the business and what those ratios are that you should be monitoring as a business owner, your view around spending becomes more critical. And again, it's a mental thing, right? When you don't have, or, or you finally come into some money, and then you go on and get that luxury Mercedes, or you get the Maserati, or you get the Porsche, because you can, or you think you can, right? And then you have a loan with that, because we, we didn't pay cash. We already know we didn't pay cash for it. And so, in that particular scenario, that would be a bad debt situation because I just now spent money, got something on credit that's really not bringing any value other than making me look like I'm flossing. Good debt is one that's going to allow me to make more money. That's what good debt is to me and what I counsel my clients uh, uh, with and anyone even on a personal level that knows me. And uh, cause I'm real frugal too, uh, child. I, I, I'm real frugal, <laughs> don't get it twisted. You know, I find the outlets at, you cause I like nice things, but I go get it at the, and I'm always asking for a discount. You better believe it, I'm asking, I'm negotiating everywhere. Before I take on a loan, one, I need to know, like we talked about earlier, you know, what is this money gonna be used for? How is it gonna make me some money? Cause that's the only reason why I'm even considering taking out a loan. And do I have the cash flow to be able to pay it back? When I was with BET, I had an expense account. And the way that, you know, I rolled was I was always traveling. And I was, you know, BET, I always say I got to know myself. I, I knew who I was at Hampton University, but I grew up at BET because that's where I learned uh, everything about you know, really honing in and doing things. When I started my business, I took that same expense account mentality into my business. When I say I made so many mistakes with money because I spent it before I actually had it, because I felt like I had to spend money to make money. So I learned very quickly that um, you cannot spend the money you don't have because the bills actually came. And I was like, who's this for? <laughs> you know, who is this for? So we talk about relationships with money. And, you know, in our community, we, it's not always a good relationship. We often, um, we function from a place of scarcity. And when we have money, we want to hold on to it. If there's anything that I can do to help anyone prevent the mistakes I make, that's why we sit up here. And that's why we share our stories authentically. I enjoy today immensely. I got to sit on the panel with just mega stars and to be able to deliver any kind of information that's going to help other businesses be better, grow, scale. That is why I'm here. I thank FSC First, not only for the platform, just for being the kind of entity that engages with small businesses in every aspect of our needs as business owners. Most people, when you say profit and loss sheet or income statement, they don't know what that is. And if you don't know what a profit and loss sheet is or an income statement, then it's time for you to do a little bit of homework and figuring out what does that really mean? What it means is that's your Bible on how you're gonna operate your business. Like Don said, it's your operation. Am I making money? How much am I spending on it? What kind of net income do I have? And do I have any money to continue to grow my business? Or do I have what I always call a nice expensive hobby? And nobody is in this room today to have an expensive hobby. So understanding your numbers, understanding what a prime cost is, 
Prime costs are the only two things that you can really control in your business. And that is your cost of goods or your cost of sales if you're in retail. And that is also your labor. If your prime costs and your labor are going to amount to more than 60 to 65% of your business operations of the income that you're taking in, then you have what I called again, an expensive hobby because you ain't going to be making no money. All right. So focus on that, figuring that out. But before you even get to a profit and loss sheet or an income statement and understanding what a balance sheet is and what that, um, how that relates to the growth of your business, or like Don also mentioned, the cash flow sheet, before you get to that, you have to have have that concept and you have to understand with that concept because a lot of people say I'm so passionate about what it is that I do be passionate about it but make sure you make it money too the turnout was absolutely fabulous you want to thank FSC first for having us here and hosting this and being able to come in the community and meet other business owners in the community this is so important and this is what's going to help us to continue to grow so FSC thank you so much we appreciate you guys keep giving the money out in the community that's what's helping us all to grow. Thank you so much. Somebody in here right now is struggling with, they want to spend money on something. And I'll give you a prime example. Chambers of Commerce, right? You want to join, but you're not quite sure how you're going to get that money back, right? And I've talked to many people, I've, I've done this in corporate America. I say, yeah, go join a clear. I'll, I'll pay for it, I'll pay for it, I'll pay for it. When it's your own business, that four hundred dollars you kind of struggle with. Man, that's four hundred dollars. I don't have four hundred dollars. I do have it, but maybe I should spend it on this. Maybe I should spend it on something else. We talk about the return on your investment. This is a nugget here. Whatever you join, whatever you join, make sure you put two feet in. You join. You're active and you get the return on your investment. I've joined Chambers of Commerce many, many times. I always go in and meet with the president of the chamber. Hey, how can I help you? What's your problems? What can I help you do better? Where do you need help at? When you do that, you're gonna become a valuable member of that chamber and you're gonna get many clients because I've done that many times over. The crowd was awesome. The panelists were really, really good. Gained a lot of information on how to help people grow their businesses. I want to say that uh, this community needs more events like this so people can begin to really grow their businesses. So overall, I think today was an absolute success. First, I want to thank FSC First. They did an amazing job coordinating this event designing this event, reaching out to the community to ensure that we had uh, really standing room only. We had uh, you know, nearly every seat filled, and that made me so happy to make sure that even on a hot day like today, people could be anywhere in the world, they were here with us. So if you missed today, we missed you, but you didn't miss out entirely. You can still, of course, access the resources you need to grow your business on the fscfirst.com website. So thank you once again for uh, your support of FSC First. We look forward to seeing you at the next event.